back to the Soup's channel. My name is Matthew Ramos, and on this channel, I am to entertain, inform, and inspire using the topic of discussion, as always, which is superheroes. So, guys, we're coming into the final couple of hours before DC Fandom. DC Fandom begins tomorrow, and tomorrow it's going to be a full day of just so many awesome announcements, so many awesome trailers, and so many awesome surprises. Right before I get into breaking down today's video, which is my last video before DC Fandom, make sure to stay to the end of the video before giving away details, as I'm giving away a copy of Marvel's Avengers over here on the Soup's channel. Now without further ado, let's talk some more DC Fandom, as I give my final thoughts before we experience this awesome event. So before we get into talking about DC Fandom, I want to talk about some piece of major DC news that dropped yesterday, right after I dropped my Batman video. And to, yesterday was just such an awesome day for Batman news. We got the Batman logo, we got uh, an art piece from the Batman movie, and Ben Affleck is coming back as Batman in the upcoming Flash movie. This is just, this is insanity. This is absolute insanity. I never in a million years thought that Ben Affleck would come back to the role of Batman, but he is coming back for one final time. He's not coming back to stay as Batman. He's coming back to leave as Batman, if that makes sense. Because after Justice League, you know, his character is still Batman. His character is still around in the DC universe. So now they're bringing him back for one final time for the Flash movie. And this is going to be his final hurrah. They're finally going to close his story and introduce the new Batman, which is going to be Michael Keaton in the DCEU. I know some of you guys are kind of confused with the whole Batman situation because we have Robert Pattinson's Batman. We have Michael Keaton coming back. There's so much confusion going on. Just to clarify, Robert Pattinson's Batman movies and his Batman universe will be completely separate from the DC universe. The same universe as Wonder Woman, Superman, Ben Affleck's Batman, The Flash. Yeah, the same way Joker was placed in a separate universe, Robert Pattinson's Batman is placed in a separate universe. But with that being said, in the upcoming Flash movie, it's it looks it's basically confirmed that they're going to do, they're going to do multiverse. The Flash is going to travel to multiple different realities, and we are going to see different versions of Batman. So this is where it gets interesting. This is the most interesting part of this entire piece of news is that with DC looking to assemble their Batman because they're bringing together Ben Affleck. They're bringing together Michael Keaton. And who knows, if they're bringing together these two, who knows, they might announce Christian Bale, they might announce Robert Pattinson to be in this, you know, in this Flash movie where they assemble all of the different versions of Batman. Well, guess what? Back in the day, a couple years back, when DC made the biggest announcement of all time, that they were making a Batman versus Superman movie and the entire world was just so excited, looking forward to DC's future. You know what Marvel Studios did to DC, which is their biggest competitor? Marvel Studios said, hmm, all right, you're making a Batman vs. Superman movie? All right, that's cool. All right, boom, announced. Captain America Civil War, Iron Man is going to be in the movie. All of the Avengers are going to be in the movie. And we're going to see Captain America and Iron Man go head to head. Well, now with DC assembling their Batman, what do you think is Marvel's direct answer to that? To assemble their Spider-Man. And oh my gosh, it's just, Marvel's done it in the past before, guys. Marvel, Marvel pulled Captain America Civil War out of nowhere because DC was making Batman vs. Superman. So now that DC is assembling their Batman, I have a strong feeling that there's talks in over going on over at Marvel Studios to bring together all of the versions of Spider-Man. Because we, we do know in the past, Sony did plan to bring together the three, the three Spider-Man for Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. But the reason that they didn't bring him into that movie is because they said it was too soon. So now, in the future, this is the perfect time. This is the perfect time to bring together the Spider-Man. Because not only is DC assembling their Batman, but DC is coming with some heat. And the last time DC was coming with some heat, Marvel was showing up with answers to whatever DC was bringing. They, they were bringing Batman versus Superman. All right, we're gonna bring Captain America Civil War. And then DC kind of just fell off at that point. But now DC's back. And now, ah, it's just such, a, such an awesome time to be alive. Because now that DC's back and they're coming out with awesome projects, now we have that DC and Marvel battle once again. I know that a lot of people don't like to pin DC and Marvel together. I personally, myself, I don't like DC over Marvel. I don't like Marvel over DC. I just love them both just as much. But seeing them compete against each other, seeing this be a battle of superhero brands, it's awesome as a fan and it's so fun to watch. But now looking forward to DC Fandom, which is right around the corner. We're literally a couple of hours away from this event starting. And 
Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you guys how excited I am for this project. Just, just to give you guys a little insight of what I'm most excited about. I'm most excited about the Robert Pattinson Batman trade. I am just, again, I've said this in the past before and I'll say it again. This is my most anticipated superhero movie as of right now. That most anticipated superhero movie, including the Marvel movies, including all of the DC movies, the Batman is my most anticipated superhero movie by far. So I am so excited to see our first look at the Batman movie starring Robert Pattinson. And then uh, right under that is the game reveals. We have the Batman game announcement. We have the Suicide Squad game announcement. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy, and I just can't wait. But the one thing, the one announcement that would just send me over the edge, the one announcement that would put my health at risk, the one announcement that might make me, that might, might make me just piss myself right here as I'm doing my reaction to this stuff is if they bring out Henry Cavill. You guys know that Superman is my favorite superhero of all time. And you guys know that I love Henry Cavill so much. So, oh my gosh, they already brought, they already brought Ben Affleck back. It's time to bring back your golden boy. It's time to bring back the face of the DC universe, Henry Cavill, who wants to continue to play this character and just the fans want him back. The fans want him back. Give the fans what they want. DC has been giving the fans what they want for quite some time now. They gave the fans the Snyder Cut. They're bringing Ben Affleck back as Batman and now it's time to bring back the golden boy, Superman himself. So for me, my personal opinion is that if Henry Cavill does not show up at DC fandom, that's going to be a huge disappointment. Just on the simple fact that Superman is the greatest and biggest DC superhero of all time. Superman is the face of the DC universe. So how the hell are you gonna have the biggest event in DC history and not have Superman at that event? Not have any talks about nothing go down with Superman, no. Just, that's it. No, I don't buy it for a second. I think Henry Cavill will be at DC fandom. It's going to be a huge surprise and it's going to blow the fans away. And that'll be the announcement that sends the, that sends the fans over the edge, that, sends, that did what that Ben Affleck announcement did yesterday. No one was expecting Ben Affleck to come back as Batman and DC showed up and over delivered with an announcement that the fans have been wanting for so long. So now they're gonna show up once again, they're gonna over deliver, they're gonna bring out Henry Cavill on stage. I'm speaking into existence right now. The last time I did this, hell, uh, PlayStation announced that Spider-Man was going to be in Marvel's Avengers and I was in the middle of filming the video saying this. So I don't know, I might be filming this video right now, but it, the, the news could have dropped that Henry Cavill was coming back as Superman, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna say that for DC fandom and I cannot wait for it to go down because I just have so much faith. I have faith in what's to come for the DC universe and I couldn't be more excited to see it all unfold right in front of our eyes. So guys, just to give you guys a couple of updates of how I'm going to be covering DC fandom. I am no longer going to be going live on my YouTube channel here. Instead, I'm just going to be posting my reactions live. So as soon as it happens, I'm going to be filming it. I'm still going to be watching the event as soon as it happens. I'm going to be watching the event live. I'm just not going to be live streaming it. And then I'm just going to capture my reaction, post it straight to YouTube, post it straight to TikTok, Drop you guys some live updates over on my Twitter. You guys can go check on my Twitter, The Real Soups. And then I'm also gonna be posting updates over on my Instagram. Again, instead of just live stream, uh, hosting like a 12 hour live stream over here on YouTube, I'd rather, you know, watch it and just upload my reaction on live and then tweet about it, post on Instagram. I'd rather engage with you guys on multiple social media platforms such as YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram than just host a 12 hour live stream where there's fat breaks in between each panel. Like there's a lot to get done in tomorrow. It's gonna be a crazy day and have, I have a lot of ground to cover. So with that being said, I'm going to be covering DC fandom over here, posting my live reactions as soon as they happen over here to YouTube. So make sure to hit that bell notification on my channel to get notified when my reactions and breakdowns go up on this channel. And then I'm also going to be posting the, the news, the reactions live over there on my TikTok. I'm gonna be tweeting about it as soon as it happens. I'm going to be tweeting about it in between the panels, talking about the announcements with other passionate fans. And then I'm also going to be posting on it, providing live updates over there on my Instagram page. So guys, DC fandom is right around the corner. I have so much hype for this event. There's so many awesome announcements. And then I haven't even talked about The Rock coming this, to this event. The Rock, the biggest actor in the world. I'm so, ex I'm so excited to see what he brings to the table because he always brings something huge to the table. 
So with that being said, guys, thank you guys for tuning into this video. I look forward to seeing and, and engaging with you guys tomorrow when DC Fandom goes, goes down. And with that being said, now getting into giveaway details, guys, I'm giving away a copy of Marvel's Avengers. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and hit that bell notification on my channel to get notified when these videos go up. With that being said, guys, this is my last video before DC Fandom. And if there's one thing I want to leave you guys with is to have faith. Speak it into existence. I know for a long time, especially for the DC side, we've kind of been disappointed we, with Justice League, with Batman vs. Superman. We don't want to get, because we've been hurt in the past, we don't want to get our hopes up to be let down. But man, I'm just telling you guys, when you have your hopes up and then they show up, and then they over deliver. It's the greatest feeling in the world. So with that being said, the soup squad is going to keep the positivity through the roof. The soup squad is going to bring the energy to the table tomorrow. And the soup squad is going to witness history tomorrow as DC is coming with DC fandom. With that being said, I love you guys 3000. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.